you have an issue with Windows 10 and it turns out you have to reinstall it. Do you know all the steps you must do in order to get it done? If your answer is no, don't go away yet because in this video I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step of Windows 10 installation. Hi, I'm Kleber, and here at Network Trunks, I bring tips and news about computer networks. So, today I just want to share a story first. A couple months ago, I got a phone call from a close friend, saying she was facing an issue with the operating system installed on her computer. It was Windows 10, and she was complaining about its low performance and some error messages when loading Windows. As she had no idea on how to get the problem fixed, she called me asking for some help. In her case, after the troubleshooting step, it turned out that the reinstallation of Windows was the only option to get her computer up and running again. So maybe you're in the same situation as my friend was and don't know where to start. If I'm correct, don't worry, in today's video, I'm going to show you all the steps I recommend you to do in order to get a fresh installation of Windows 10. To start with, I have a client desktop computer that got a new hard drive and it needs an operating system to be installed. In case you are doing the installation by yourself, the first step is to back up to external storage any data that is relevant to you, like documents, pictures, or your personal videos. It's because during the installation process, any information you have in the computer's hard drive will be deleted forever and very hard or impossible to recover later on. The second step is to create the Windows 10 installation media. In this step, you need to get access to another working computer with Windows 10 that is licensed and with internet access. You're also gonna need a flash drive or a USB key with at least 8 gigs. So, let me show you how to do it. Here, let's start by opening the browser you like. In my case, I'm gonna use Microsoft Edge. Once it's opened, just search on Google for Media Creation Tool and hit enter. The first reference will be from Microsoft website, so click on it to open. Now you have the first option to update the existing computer to the latest version, but that's not what we want. Let's go to the option below to create the Windows 10 installation media. So click on download to now. It's going to be just a small file, so in a couple seconds it's going to be ready. And now just click on open file. Just make sure that uh, in order to run this application, you must have the administrator privileges on this computer, okay? All right, now I'm gonna close Edge. And here there are just some information about the license terms. So you must accept in order to proceed. So click on accept. Here the application is asking you, what do you wanna do? Do you want to upgrade the existing computer that you are using to the latest version of Windows 10 or do you want to create installation media? That's what we want, so click on create installation media and click next. Here you can leave the recommended options for this PC checked and click next. Now you have two options. One is to get the file, the image, the Windows 10 image burned into a flash drive or you can download the ISO file. The ISO file is uh, in case you don't have the USB key right now but you want to create the image to burn it later on to a DVD or a flash drive. As I have a flash drive now, I'm gonna check uh, USB flash drive and click next. 
Now the application is looking for a flash drive to burn the, the image. So let me connect my USB. The computer already found it, so let's click on refresh. And be aware that any information that you have in that USB key will be deleted forever. So make sure it's blank USB key. So I'm gonna click next. Now the application will download the Windows 10 image and burn it into the flash drive you select. So it's gonna take some time, maybe 30 to 45 minutes. It depends on the internet connection you have. All right, as you can see, the USB flash drive is ready with the Windows 10 image. Just click finish to close the application. In this third step, you're gonna install Windows 10 by using the installation media you have just created. So now I'm gonna use the installation media I have just created to install Windows 10 into a, a Dell computer. It's a desktop, so I'm gonna turn it on. When you see the Dell logo, just press F12. In case you have a different, um, a different computer, it might be a different key to go to this option, maybe F2, but in our case, it's F12. It's gonna give you some options, and uh, what it is asking you, it's just where you wanna boot uh, first. Uh, the first option, the UEFI boot, it gives you the, um, the flash drive. The second one is the hard drive on that computer. The options below is just uh, uh, from Dell. Uh, the one that is relevant here to talk about, it's the diagnostics, which is a diagnostic software embedded into the computer. In your case, if you have a Lenovo, you're gonna have that as well. But we're not going to go in that step now. We just want to make sure that we select the flash drive we have and uh, hit enter. All right. So let's hit enter. And now it's going to load the information from the USB key in order to get the computer ready to, for the Windows 10 installation. In this step, you need to select the language, the time and the keyboard. Once you select that, just hit next. Now, click install now. Here, you must accept the license terms and click next. In this window, you have two options to upgrade or to do a, an installation, a full installation. That's the option we want. In this point, I recommend you to delete all the partitions you have because you want to have a fresh Windows 10 installation. So let's delete them all. Once that's done, just click next. Now the computer is installing all the files required for Windows. That process can take some time. So I'm going to speed up the process a little bit for this video, just to make it short. From this point, you will have the same steps anyone must go through when they get a brand new computer. So let's select the, the region and click yes. Now the keyboard, now it's loading. And now if you wanna set up as a, for a company or organization, but in, the, in my case, I'm um, setting up as a, a personal use. 
Now it's time to add the information for your account. At this point, I recommend you to not get the computer connected to the network, to the internet. Otherwise, Windows will, the, this process will force you to sign in by using a Microsoft account. So here I just select um, offline account limited experience and now you just type your name Bob for example next the password if you want type it in and click next here are just some privacy settings you can just select whatever you want and click next you must accept or not and there we go initializing Windows 10 and it's done, completed. Congratulations, you installed Windows 10. That's it, in today's video, I gave you all the instructions on how to create the USB key with the installation media and to install Windows 10 on your computer. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.